Hey guys, welcome back. It's Kamu coming at you for another video of Fresh Shadows. Welcome, uh, hopefully having a great week and hopefully uh, looking after yourselves and having a, I suppose, interesting week with all the changes that are about to happen today with Hydra and we are a bit uncertain with what's going to happen. But going forward on today's video, we're going to talk about something totally different. The meta is shifting in the arena, not just in live arena, but overall. And I want to share with you some secrets today on two parts. So today will be about the meta champions that are coming to meta recently. And we're talking about bomb champions. Now, you guys know I've been a big fan of bomb champions for a couple of months now. So we're talking about Dark Smiles, Nishak, Lord, Shazan as well. There's other strategies as well, which I won't be able to showcase because I don't have them champions available. But I will uh, briefly cover in today's video in type of bomb strategies that you could also do overall. Um, so why are bomb champions uh, just coming out of the woodworks? Well, they've been around for a while, in and out of the meta, probably on like the borderlines of Live Arena. But overall, because of pinpoint, you can see here now that we have a way to counter sheep, and it's not too hard to build bombs now. To get the best utility out of bombs, you do need a bias. And the reason why our bias is so key for this is because she's able to play the two debuffs that most bomb champions need. I say most because Dark Smiles does not need increased attack. We also have increased accuracy as well, which is pretty insane. I will be dropping another video today I'm talking about a few ways to counter bombs across all arenas and um my recommendations etc i wasn't going to do one but i wanted to share away because people are saying bombs are broken and um that it's just basically uh they're too strong and should be nerfed i don't i disagree i don't think bombs are too strong they are very strong it is not there's not hiding it but there is a lot of ways to counter it and i will drop a second video in that today which uh, you can go ahead and check out in my channel uh, as you guys know, I won't be showcasing it today in the arena, uh, in live arena, the bombs, but you can go ahead and already check out another video that I dropped uh, last week. Uh, sorry, three days ago, actually, talking about bombs. So, uh, and, and bombs about this. Now, this doesn't have our bias, and you guys might have a lot of access because I use an Arbiter, a Marius, etc. But I'm going to showcase in. The arena as well where you can do if you don't have a abyss and or a bomb champion so there is ways you can do that so let's get into it then let's show you all this juicy stuff so first of all let's go into the arena and let's have a look what's going on so we're quite low down in the arena obviously bombs can weak it so that's one thing to take into consideration uh, and there's a few things that we can do so let's just break down the basics of bombs well, bombs, nine times out of ten, need increased attack and increased accuracy. The reason why you need increased accuracy is because high resistance is a problem, and Mephala and Pythion and UDK are very good for that. So accuracy aura can also help. So there is bombs, champions that do have accuracy aura. You also have uh, champions that we all can access that have increased accuracy and accuracy aura. So you can see here, he has no speed lead, so it means that we can come in with accuracy or uh we don't have to worry about affinity so we're going to come in with arbiter and then we can just come in with two other bombs now it is worth noting my lord shazam is not maxed out yet but it is one thing that i should generally try to do you can see here i've got gaius down here in the bottom because i'm going to go ahead and max him out later and like so so this should be a high resistance team from what i'm seeing and yeah, so Arbiter is going to be key. So you're going to see that increase accuracy come up. Um, so that increase attack, which is going to what you need for your bombs. You want to try not to strip if possible. Uh, but you can see there, we land it even on Mephala. We do get counter attacks, which is what you kind of want to see. And you can see there already that the bombs are basically uh, gone, right? And then we can basically blow it up like that. You can see that is a very, very, very lethal combination, right? We also have a speed aura here as well. 
Um, so let's talk about, okay, what happens if you don't have, um, if you don't have this champion here? Well, there is another champion you can also use, which is our friend Marius, which is also another champion you guys can get. Now, it kind of sounds odd saying Marius can work in here. I'm going to go ahead and use Dark Smiles because we're already speed tuned, uh, for example, for this team. It's kind of odd saying Marius, but our Marius has the increased accuracy, right? Which is, again, something that I've tried to speed tune in all my team. So with Marius, we're going to come in with the increased accuracy. Obviously, you can place a stun. It is worth noting if there's stone skin, uh, especially with Dark Smiles, you don't want to be using this ability because you don't want to take off the stone skin. You can just press A1, land in feeble, and use that as like a, I suppose, a... a assurance kind of purpose and then you'll see here we're just going to go ahead and bomb like so and it's pretty simple right like again we weak it there which is not much we can do we have the increased accuracy so my accuracy is pretty insane and then you just hit auto and be like so now actually if is still kind of stronger with a vizier strategy which i still use especially like against udk i wouldn't say strong it's just faster right so these are the things you can see here there is starting people bringing these uh compositions but again this is most likely a stone skin team uh i mean a level nine duchess uh, on a level 74 account which is one of the ones i'm not that high up right now so you, you can see that is very powerful now potentially you just don't need the uh, you don't need the accuracy up so you could just go accuracy aura as well so again we spoke about kimmy who has it we have dark smiles that has it and then you can go with like a lockout champion for example our mads a warlord yumiko and yuko also has accuracy aura um and there's a few champions that you can kind of do this you can also use kimmy kimmy uh, a lot of people have kimmy she has increased speed and increased accuracy which is a good way to go uh, again um accuracy uh, up is going to be very very key again want to try and resist try not to strip the stone skin if we can you can see here i knew that we was going to go first so that's why we used accuracy aura uh, especially if you don't have the op champions like uh, abias for example now i'm not putting out the weekend because i generally try not to get sheeped um that's why i don't put out the weekend because we've only got two pinpoints and you can proc it i have procced it in arena fights before which you can do. Now, bombers are very good because you can counter meta champions like Sigford. So champions like Sigford and Nice with block damage, uh, revive passive, the bombs ignore it, right? So you don't have to worry about this at all. You could come in with something like this in Classic Arena. Now, bombs are easy to build because there's less stats. You don't need a critical damage. You don't need a critical rate. You just need the attack accuracy or hp uh for dark smiles and then the um and then the speed as well right bear in mind you you do need pinpoint like you can make this work without pinpoint don't get me wrong uh but it's a lot harder because of sheep and that's just another thing that you've got to counter yourselves right so you can see that very very powerful way to counter the meta very very nicely um but pinpoint is the way to go now um you could use feld as well don't get it wrong feld might be a interesting way um you do want to be trying to take the physical presence again because of the speed aura but again if you can use it it's very good for the accuracy as well to increase accuracy even more um but again if you're going against arbiter you want to be using that um a speed or because you don't want to be losing our speed race so speed race is another way to counter uh bombs giving you some secrets already for today uh, it's a second video that I dropped today um uh like so but you do need to make sure you're speed tuned now if you want to get speed tuned now i'm a far uh, she's just amazing for this because she also brings the the weekend which increases the bomb damage lady m which is amazing uh, anyway uh, if you do want to make sure you speed tuned, you want to be going into Jedward website, right? And go basically using the arena calculator. Now, that's the only arena calculator that I know of. Um, 
that is still quite relevant. It's a bit outdated. Kind of wish we had a different speed calculator uh, to with mythicals, etc., to make our life a lot easier. But you can also just do some maths and adjust it a little bit, uh, like so. So we can also use like. Uh, speed into lockout and then use bomb champions you can see here he's got two bomb champions actually as well to face us uh, we could be a little bit naughty and just bring in lord shazam for the extra speed aura and then we should generally be uh, better now face of present only works once but you can see that i have multiple because of the um i have multiple because of live arena right now, Lord Shazam is not the best Bond champion going. I'm not going to try and sit here and say he is. He really isn't. But he is actually still one of the better ones overall. Uh, we always have increased attack. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on top. Now, she's in stone skin. That's very odd to have her in stone skin. But hey ho, you can see there again bombs breaking them. Now, I've actually started bringing in bombs in takeovers as a first nuker. For example, um let's see if we can find a team for me to kind of show you what i mean just to break stone skin right so we got this team here um we've got the champions here so let's say we got this i'm going to drop arbiter here actually because i'm going to bring in carnage now um <clears throat> what this allows you to do is i'm going to bring in marios here as well just to kind of make this more uh free to play friendly he's also got a Udicator as well so these are all three champions because uh, he was a guaranteed uh, at Christmas and also he was a fusion quite a while ago but most in-game players will have him uh, and then Carnage is perfect for this right because if you can break stone skin Carnage becomes very viable the problem with Carnage is stone skin to be fair so I mean that was not great but hey ho you can see there that you can kind of see what I want to try and do and um, yeah, you just wait for the stone skin. Oh, I've actually just stolen the stone skin. That was a bit sloppy, uh, if I say so myself. But uh, you can see there, basically, that's what we're trying to do, right? Break the stone skin. So let's see if we can find another go second team and kind of show you again what I'm trying to achieve here. So again, uh, high resistance team with the Pythian Aura. That's going to be super good. We've got the increased accuracy already. Potentially, you can still resist us, even with the increased accuracy, which would be uh, quite hilarious, I guess, is a, that's a way to go. Should have some. Yeah, so you can see here we got two stone skin, which is going to be super nice. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put the A1 out. And then we're going to do this. We do get two weak hits on the Duchess there, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and, and more to my carb as well. I'm going to go ahead and actually just put out the lock abilities there. And you can see there we lock out the passive, which is going to be super nice. Carnage is going to be good because he does offer that lockout as well. Um, I'm not going to hit too much because I don't want to set off the passive of more to my carb. Pyfio is going to go down for sure. There's no out of that. He's not going to swipe that. Well, I don't think he will. He needs to kind of have bolster, right? For that, we're going to try to take his stone skin, which we do get it. And then we'll clean up on the Mortimer carb there as well. So you see there, Carnage offers like a... a he can also spread the bombs with his passive if he kills, because he can basically do that as well. Uh, so Carnage has a lot of utility uh especially against a team like this where there's a lot of passives again we can kind of go in deal with a thing do our thing you know what i want to do with this come in with this now i could maybe try and scrape down some of the hp uh on these champions with our marius uh i actually broke the stone skin there against the lightning cage so extremely lucky and you can just see like we've used that to we've used two ways to break the stone skin. Uh and then yeah, we could just basically come in. We've spreaded the bombs across. Now don't forget, Carnage is also a DPS champion here. So he can still come in and do damage as well. And you can see there there's a weaken from up. And then you'll just be able to clean up. There was like four bombs. You're never gonna survive that. 
and again making very difficult champions actually super easy right uh let me try to showcase carnage a bit more i think we're bringing lady emma a bit instead because marius is just over over killing the teams and they're not that strong so uh we would like to kind of see this a bit more in definition uh carnage has just got the fruit uh true fear i guess we can farm him which i forgot about to be fair there's no stone skin here surprisingly normally these type of teams there is and i've kind of screwed up the it must be the passive from lady m that's a bit annoying because uh the rat is way faster than carnage by like nine speed so <laughs> that's uh that's not gonna be ideal uh which is something you want to take in consideration i guess learn from my mistakes and yeah and then again i guess you could just come in now bombers cast as a debuff right you can use carnage here on a block revive which is super op because he has more than three so you can see like the damage that potentially carnage can do as a backup now you will need to bring in a few options for carnage but he is definitely a very i think he's very viable now we've got marishka here which is actually really really good against bombs so it'd be interesting to see if we can use carnage on the back end to kind of make this work which is something we need to kind of think about let's think about marius because he could strip off the block damage potentially and then we can use the a1 to maybe counter him this is something like totally new like this is not something marishka is a uh hardcore counter you can't really bomb her because of the passive so i'm just gonna press a1 for now that was a very very weak very weak uh ability there i guess we could potentially come in here and just lock him out like so he's gonna do that she's gonna do that we're gonna play that ability there and you see there there's a strip for our marius and you can still see the passives are locked out there's plenty of debuffs here for carnage night night block revive baby block revive they didn't even stand a chance and that don't don't sleep on carnage like bombs carnage i don't know man uh, let me know down in the comments what you think with about that i kind of i like it i really enjoy it anyway let me show you uh the gear right on the bomb champion so for example dark smiles he, i do like dark smiles in a two-piece uh two-piece stack on this so we got the stats that we care about is high hp really good speed and accuracy he does ignore resistance so he actually has an advantage over other bomb champions uh it's one thing to kind of sit, take a situation now he is demon spawn right so people do take uh taurus taurus against him if you've only got one stack his fear will use a stack and then he leaves you completely naked to polymorph so again for me this is why i've actually got the two stacks on him because if i face a taurus in love arena it's not so much a problem i've lost a few fights because of that so i like to kind of learn and improve now i've got no blessings for my dark smiles i did do the 2x didn't get lucky for him you know it is what it is now i've had nishak for a long time i've always been a fan of nishak um and i've always had like a good level blessing so i'm kind of happy to kind of see this now i'm gonna be honest on the offensive side i don't really think that it matters too much what you take I just took the extra accuracy, which was the main thing that kind of mattered to me. And then the accuracy side on that. Now, there is a couple of blessings that you can take on your shack. Uh, I think Soul Reapers will be very viable. Uh, Polly is obviously viable because it's got accuracy. But again, if they go before you, kind of dead. And then, 
I guess lethal dose as well, which is quite good because of the poisons. Lethal dose could be quite good on Nishak. I actually just prefer Soul Reap, if I'm honest, on him. Uh, because he can ignore passives, etc. as well. Um and then you just see here that we've got one piece of feral as well because it just brings the extra 40 accuracy, which is really super solid on his boots. Um you could use uh Feralid, but I think Feralid is a bit too weak. I think Feralid could be a option to counter uh bombs in the future though. That's definitely something to kind of watch out for as well. Uh, and then I'll show you, I guess I'll show you my Carnage. So my Carnage is on a 4-star Blessing, which is what I've earned from um, from Curse City. These are the masteries that we're running on Carnage. Uh, using Cruelty, because I use them in my Hydra. There is better options, like Natural Wrath is probably better. The Speed or uh, Presence as well. Um, I guess uh, Life Harvest to a certain point. Lightning Cage if you're using Stone Skin. I'm not using Stone Skin because my aim is just to be complete fast. That's my aim with him, so that's why we're not using Stone Skin in any of my builds. Uh, you can see here, very, very viable accuracy of 330. Uh, amazing critical damage, which again, accuracy turns into the critical damage. The speed at the moment is 301. He will be 321 once I've got the 6 star blessing. And obviously, I'll go to 400 accuracy, which would be around about 100 and. 30 extra critical damage and then attack of 7000 which is when you're using an extra increase attack overall just a speed set and then some uh, pinpoint down here because it kind of just fits with the speed and accuracy that we need uh if you can if i can swap these two pieces for pinpoint as well that would be super solid which is probably what i probably would do when i got a bit more available and uh, a bigger blessing on him as well to kind of help him with stats. Um, I believe that is it today. I'll just show you my arb to speed. My arb to speed, not super fast, but you know, uh, she's my second fastest champion on my account of uh, 396. I do have faster champions than her. Um, but again, it's it's a very standard arbiter, and one day I will work on her blessings after Sifi to make her a 400 because that's what you generally need at a top end arena. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you like this. Um, please remember to give me a like uh, on the video. Hit that thumbs up. It really just helps support the channel. Hit that subscription button as well. It does really help support the channel. I will be dropping another video today talking about counters to bombs. And uh, we'll list it in order. And there's a lot of options viable, uh, which we will talk about in the video today. That's it from me. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I've been Graham. Thank you for watching to the end. See you on the next one. Peace.